Can you say hi? Spike, or Zeus. Say hi. Come here. <coughs> hey, why are you barking? Somebody's a little <laughs> jealous. All right. Hey guys, I just wanted to, you know, give the the puppies a, a little bit of their, you know, fame. So we're back with another video. So I hope everybody is doing great. We're doing wonderful. And I'm going to do a video with you guys today. And we're going to just do this kind of raw. There's going to be um, no editing. I'm just going to show you guys how I make some alcohol inks um, with my fellow assistant, Zeus. Would you like to say hi? You're gonna say hi? Say hi to everybody? <laughs> All right, guys. So let's get started on this video and we're going to make alcohol inks. We're gonna do it, you know, the the cheapest way possible. Um, I know alcohol inks, if you go to the stores, um, Michael's Hobby Lobby can be very expensive. So I wanna show you guys how you can make them at home. They won't cost you as much. Um, they're not gonna be identical to the ones in the store, but you can actually um, make tumblers with the alcohol ink um, that we're gonna create. So stay tuned. Make sure that you guys are subscribed and please share these videos and I wanna welcome all my new subscribers. Okay, so I wanna go over the supplies that I'm using to do the alcohol inks. Um, so first, you need some alcohol. Um, we're gonna, normally I would do like 90%, but I wanna try 70%. I think that, um, I'm not really sure if 90, um, I did some 90 and I felt like they were not as um, bright. So we're gonna try 70 this time and I'm gonna see if maybe that percentage makes a difference. So we're gonna do that together. So definitely um, I have more. I'm gonna do both. So I'm gonna do 90 and 70 cause I have this one. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one off. And excuse me, and then we're going to figure out you know, what is better. So I'm gonna mark them on the bottom of the bottles. That way I know 70%. Okay, so um, first thing first, um, how's everybody doing? And I'm really glad that you're here and that you have tuned into my, my channel. And, you know, I wanted to make this video because I know that when I first started doing um, tumblers, you know, you're on a budget, you're trying to, e either you're doing it as a craft or like just for yourself or you're doing it for gifts or you're making this a business. So when I first started doing this, I did it for a hobby. Um, my son was playing football. Um, just to give you guys a little, you know, background, my son played football. He graduated um, high school and then I was like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Cause I was a football mom and as active as I could be. So when he graduated, um, you know, he was my last kid. And it's like, okay, what do I do now? So that's why I kind of started doing this. Um, I just watched YouTube videos like you guys um, and kind of just jumped right into it. Um, I did it just for a hobby. And then I started sharing my hobbies with people on my Facebook and with friends and family. And then it kind of just like grew from there. So I'm, I feel like I'm very blessed to have a lot of support. But, you know, I, we're going to get, you know, I just wanted to give you guys, you know, a little bit of feedback of how I actually started doing tumblers. I am by far, you know, a pro and I learn as I go, as I'm sure you all do. Um, and I'm always like trying to find like different ways that we can save money or not have to spend so much, um, you know, to basically keep our supplies without spending an arm and a leg, basically. All right, so what I'm, I went to, um, I think it was like Hobby Lobby, 
and they sell these in um, Hobby Lobby. I think they're like two dollars and some change and you get four in a pack. So we're going to do, um, I have two packs and oh yeah, they're $2.49. I'm sorry. There's actually a price on there, but then, um, they always, well, this is, I bought these when they were doing coupons and they're not doing coupons anymore. Um, they're just always having sales. So if they have like sales, I mean, these are good to stock up on because you can do all kinds of stuff with these little doodads here. So anyways, you're going to need, um, these little bottles. You're going to need some gloves. Um, you're going to need either, I would, I'd rather use wax paper or, um, parchment paper, whatever you have, just so that it doesn't leak through. So we're going to use this on, on our table. And then you're going to need, um, Sharpies. You want them to be permanent markers. So I bought these like a while back. Um, right now is a really good time to stock up because school is starting. Um, I'm in Florida and there's a lot of, um, really good deals right now on school supplies. So right now I had bought these a while back. Like I said, they were at a, um, Ollie's. So if you have an Ollie's, you can go and I paid $4.99 for these. So Sharpies are not cheap. So if you can find them cheaper, go for it, grab them. Make sure you're grabbing like um, different colors. Make sure that you're grabbing like vibrant colors because when you do your tumblers, you know, you wanna have your fall and you wanna have your spring. So yeah, make sure that you, if you see any unique colors, grab them. If this is something that you're interested in. So I bought two. Last time when I did these, I didn't do a video, but I tr I did one package just to try it. We're going to do two packages and we're going to double up on our alcohol ink. And because I, I want my alcohol inks to be bright, vibrant. So when you put them on your cups, it's going to pop. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so then you're going to need some pliers. And this is going to help us break the Sharpies apart. Make sure that you have your drink, guys, because, you know, you got to stay hydrated. I know I'm crazy. Anyways, so those are the supplies we're going to need. Oh, and we're going to need, we're going to need some cups. So I like to use these cups right here because you can fit, um, the little sponges that are, uh, the ink packets, things that are inside the Sharpies, you can put as many as you want in here, but you know, we're just going to do double. So we're going to do, um, we have actually this packet. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it actually has some neons in there. Check this out. Neons. So we're really going to have some fun with these colors. So let me show you guys, um, some that I already made. So, and I do use them. Um, hold on so these okay so here's one that I've made and this right here I don't know if you guys can see it how dark it is but this was actually a purple well it is a purple I don't know what I'm saying but this is a purple this is one um alcohol uh you know the little pad look I already got it on me the alcohol pad that's inside your sharpie that's one so, I mean, that's just showing you, but I want it super more bright. So I, I'm gonna do two. So I think this was a burgundy or something, and then I have purple. So this is just showing you like what we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna have some fun. And then I have, I have a red, and then I have a green. Actually, you know, I'm running out of that one. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, I think I opened it. This one's starting to leak. That's not good. <laughs> All right. But anyways, you know, the good thing is, is that you could take your alcohol um, on a paper towel, which I have right here, and you could wipe it off. But I recommend gloves because look, look at this. That lid must not have been on good or something because normally I don't have a problem with them leaking. But... It comes right off. No biggie. No worries. Okay. All right, so let's get started, you guys. I'm excited to show you guys this technique. Um, and 
I hope this helps somebody. I hope it um, saves you guys money. I hope it inspires somebody to do the same thing. And if you guys do, let me know in the comments below. Um, also, I want to add to this um, video is that when I reach a thousand subscribers, I want to do a giveaway. I want to give a free Tumblr um, away to somebody. So you guys help me out and help me um, keep motivated and help me share these videos by, you know, just sharing them with your friends, family, um, on your Facebook, any of your social media that helps me um, keep motivated because, you know, we all need that inspiration and motivation. And yeah, let's get started. All right, so make sure that you guys have your your protective, you know, clothes on because this is ink and it will get messy. Make sure you put your gloves on. I mean, you've seen I already made a mess. <clears throat> we don't need those open yet. But, all right, and then I have my wax paper protecting the, I'm gonna turn it over, protecting my work area. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open these up. at a time um, don't open them and then sit them aside and open up another one don't do that all right so we're gonna throw the lid away because we're not using that and then mm. so throw that away Have your scissors because what we're gonna do is we're going to, to so you can do two things okay you could cut them in half like this or you could get a blade and kind of just open this little plastic protector don't cut yourself be very careful all right and then you can take out all of this Ugh, try not to get this all over your stuff. This doesn't matter. I can always clean it. But if you take out this or just open them and then sit them in your cup. So that's what I like to do is I'll cut them in half just like I'm doing. And then I will open them. So that way the alcohol can get in there. Just be careful. I don't need to hear that you guys have cut yourself. So open it up sit them in there and then we're also going to take the the tip and we're going to pull it out just like that okay and then we're going to put so we're we're putting it all in there so we are putting it all in there we're going to do the same thing with this one whoa i just broke it make sure you don't shoot yourself in the eye don't shoot your eye out, kid. All right. So what I do is I go in the middle and then I push that way and then come back and go the other direction and go that way. Then just open them up. Stick them right, oops, stick them right in there. So look, I'm gonna go in the center. I'm gonna push down, go up, away from you. Make sure you have a good and sharp blade because I think my blade is dull. And then you're gonna do the same thing. So go back in the center and then just go back up again. Make sure you open them. All right, then we're going to, let me just make sure the ink is dry on my gloves. 
throw all your little stuff away because we don't need any of that in the way. Look at this stuff, fuzzy. All right, now we're gonna take our alcohol and we are going to just saturate it a little bit. So what I like to do is we are gonna open these. Take one out, okay? Take, it just twist right off, super easy. All right, and then what we're, I'm only gonna do it half since I already poured some in there, but what we're gonna do is you're gonna pour it in your bottle. All right, I'm, okay. So what I did was about that much. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're going to put it in, make sure you're saturating it. And then we're gonna keep this aside with that. And then what you can do is do a little moving around and leave it in there as long as you want to. The longer you leave, the more it soaks, the more you're gonna get the ink. Okay then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start on the next one. So let's do, what color guys, what color? Oh, I just realized that even the blue has like a little sparkle to it. What are you growling at? All right, so we're gonna do the same thing on this one. So this one I filled up just about to the top of the, the rim. Okay, and then we're gonna take it, pour it in our cup. All right, and then let's do let's do this color. This is kind of this is oh I love this color. Sometimes they just don't want to come out. They actually just need to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There we go. Just do a little wiggle job. All right. I'm going to pop. Oh no, it broke. Oh no. Oh no, it keeps breaking. Well, that's not good, man. That will happen. Very rarely does it happen. Ugh. Oh well. Just put it in there and let it soak. It is soak with it and then you could just take it out. So, another way you could do it is cut it like this. I wonder if I turn the light on like this, if you guys can see better. Eh, my luck, no. And then cut it. So you could do it however you want.
guessing this is red. So I do have a red, but it may not be the exact same red. So I'm not going to add to this one. So I can tell you that once these are done and you know they're gone, you can alcohol clean them up and then you could reuse these bottles for different colors. So don't throw them away. Make sure you, um, let's do this color, these pinks. So these pinks have like a glitter in them. Oh my gosh, they do, they do, they have a glitter. We love some glitter, don't we guys? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at me, getting ahead of myself. Look at me. All right, so we're gonna, basically you're just gonna keep doing this with all of your alcohol ink. So if you end up after you've dumped your alcohol in here, you know, once you're done doing your colors and you've realized you don't have enough, you can always add to it later and then just do a little shake up. But this kind of gives you an idea of how much will fit in these little containers. Oh, I got the hiccups. All right, so we have that in there. Let's give that a little soaky soak. All right, and then remember, just wiggle back and forth and pull it out. Oh my gosh, yes, it has glitter. So pretty. What you're gonna do is very carefully I mean use a paper towel just in case you spill it it can be sucked up quickly and not leak everywhere on you so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this down and then pour it in here you guys have other ways of doing it do it don't let me stop you This is such a pretty pink. It's All right, so there it is, guys. So I have enough to where I can add some alcohol. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit more to this and let it sit a little longer and then I'm going to add it. Right there we go. And you, if you guys have labels, you guys can write um, what colors they are. Um, I don't know if these permanent markers actually have a name or you can name it yourself. I mean, that's your choice. So let me take this and we're just gonna do a little bit, put a little bit in there, let it saturate, let it soak for a little bit, and then we'll add, finish adding it to that. And then basically let's go back and move things around. We can actually probably take this thing out because remember that one broke. We're just gonna take it out and toss it. All right, look how bright that is. Ooh. 
Got to get the alcohol off of me. So yeah, that one is pretty dark. So we could probably put it in our container. Let's just put it in there and let's see if we need to add any more. I do have like these little, a little funnel that I used last time, but I don't even know what I did with it. So we're just winging it. I have a tiny little funnel that, oh, that you use for like perfume. So look, I have plenty of room so I can go ahead and add more to this. We're gonna add a little more to that and we're gonna let it sit some more. All right, well, let's move this one around and make sure it's soaking good because we wanna make sure that we get all this color. It's so pretty. It's like rose gold. I'm sure that you could find, let me see if I can figure out what this color is in case anybody likes it. Um, oh, try metallic. So this, this is a metallic, so it's almost like a rose gold, but um, it's the Sharpie brand. And on the bottom it says the try the metallic. So this was in the metallic area. So if you can find the same one, you guys can make this if anybody likes these colors. I'm sure that you can find them at any kind of um, supply store, um, office supply, Walmart. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to do a little mixy mix. Let that one sit a little longer. All right, let's go ahead and let's move this. And we're gonna get started on our next color, which will be, let's do this fluorescent. I'm going to do the fluorescent color. This is neon. So this is going to be exciting. Um, here. So another thing is, is that you want to make sure that you're opening each one. That way you're not just opening your markers and then not having enough bottles. Cause now I'm getting started on, I will be getting started on the next package. So if you don't have enough bottles, there's no point in doing these. You won't have nowhere to put them. because they're not really fitting in my cup like all the other ones but we're gonna make it work and you can always turn them around or even take I mean I've taken the the packing out of it and just put it in there and let it soak so it's whatever you guys choose to do I would love to hear your how you would do it or if you've tried it how did it work out so remember that when you're doing these alcohol inks, um, the, the best way to use these alcohol inks is with epoxy. So epoxy your tumbler or whatever you're doing really good and then use the alcohol ink. Or you could do a dry cup. So you could do like a spray painted cup and then um, use a sponge and then make your designs that way also. So if I end up getting like too much, I'm just gonna toss it. So that one had a tiny little bit extra, so we're just gonna throw it away. We're gonna put our little cap on it. And then this one is a neon pink. 
So if you have a labeler, you could write it on there or even use a um, black marker and write neon, oops, neon pink. And then alcohol will wipe that right off later if you wanna change it, okay? So there we go, we have our neon pink. look alike but this is actually like a hunter green and this is a till so it's definitely a good idea to write on your bottles what the name of the color is all right let's see how this one's doing Ooh, look at me make a mess look at me make a mess <laughs> So I went ahead and put the metallic rose. I called it rose gold because that's what it looks like to me. It's so pretty. It has a lot of glitter to it. you know, the idea of um, doing this. This is going to save you money. This is going to last you because those bottles that you get. Um, so this is the ones that you could buy in the store. And I want to show you the difference in size. Let me do one that's already closed. Okay, so this, this is the one you buy in the store. Not saying that these aren't any good. But if you can't afford it, but and you have some markers, you have some um, alcohol inks, this would be something that you could do. But this is basically the size um, difference. So this is going to last you. You're going to get more projects done. Yeah. So I, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to try something um, in this nature. I'm going to go ahead and finish these off cam. And... Um, I will see you guys on the next video. Let me turn this up so I can say goodbye. I just, I really, my goal to do these videos is to help somebody that is new, um, give you guys some entertainment on crafting. And I'm hoping that I'm inspiring you guys to do um, some good projects and I would love for you guys to share them. I mean, you guys are inspiring me by subscribing and commenting and asking me questions and, you know, keeping me on my toes because, you know, life can get to you and when you're doing crafting, nothing else matters, guys. Nothing else matters. All right, guys. So I'm going to let you guys go and I will see you guys on the next video. 
please do me a good favor and make sure that you are subscribed and make sure you share my videos with, you know, anyone, anybody else. Um, I would be grateful and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.